Hello everybody, welcome back to another in game spotlight. This is Tower of Heaven, as you can see on the main screen. A game also created by ASCII Soft, seems to be an old one. Um, published on March 21, 2010. But uh, it was while I was doing my previous one of um, Overpowered, I've noticed this one. I thought, hey, let's give it a go anyway. It's not because it's old, that doesn't mean it's not good. Anyway, it's a platformer game completed in Game Maker. Um, the description reads the following Join Aid, a tenacious, silent protagonist on his adventure within the Tower of Heaven, a mysterious monolith that promises glory to those who can scale it and death to those who cannot. Collect secrets and conquer obstacles under the jurisdiction of God, rumored to inhabit the tower and his ever-growing list of rules, which directly govern gameplay and make progress increasingly difficult. Tower of God has spawned a revamped retro graphic style, only three colors are ever used, and we can see all of these three on our screen already. And an epic soundtrack that pays homage to the classic tunes of the Game Boy area. Now, as you mentioned, it does kind of look like the Game Boy screen I had back in the days. Alright, X to select. Press X to go down. X or down to advance this dialogue. What's this? Yet another soul seeks to scale my tower. Welcome, young one. Perhaps you do not realize the danger in what you are attempting. If you truly wish to ascend this tower and claim the reward, then make your way to those stairs with the arrow keys. When you reach such staircases, press X or down to enter them. Press up. To jump, press the Z button or the up button. Pause or save the game, press the Q button. But be warned, I have no patience for slow workers. If you cannot reach the stairs to the next floor before the timer runs out, I shall smite you. May heaven grant you fortune. There's our timer already. Now, scaling this tower wouldn't be all that dangerous if it simply involved climbing stairs, would it? Then again, you probably expected as much. May heaven grant you fortune. This is where the platformer bit comes in. We do get more time on these, so that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That was close. You'll still have to prove that you're worthy of progressing further. And you'd better get mo used to proving yourself. Believe me. Remember, you can save your game through the pause menu, which you can access by pressing Q. We haven't grant you fortune. Losing your head is probably not good for business, is it? Hmm. Doesn't look like there's pressure sensitive jumping. Or maybe there is, and I fail on using it. But we made it, I think. Yeah, we did. What? You're still here. Hmm. I've never had to do this, but in that case, let's make things a bit more amusing. Pick up that tablet in front of you. This is the Book of Laws. Within the walls of this tower, you must obey what it commands, or I will smite you. I'll add new laws to this book when I see fit. Alright, so one of those dudes that changed the rules when he sees he's losing, huh? Are you a sore loser, God? Hmm. So you may be fairly tested of your ability. When I add new laws, all the old laws will still be in effect. You may view the laws at any time by pressing W. You may have a your fortune. The laws, press left and right to scroll through the laws, press W to return to the game. Thou shalt not touch yellow blocks. Oops. Yep, that'll do it. Ow. Well, so far so good. Kinda hoping the butterfly isn't gonna kill me, but... You don't know that, don't you? Cool. You're quite the persistent one, I see. Since this is so easy for you, let's add another rule. Thou shalt not touch the blocks or walls from the side. I wonder how you're going to enforce that one. Probably like that. Ah, you dick. Well, now we know. Now we can prevent it. Probably. 
Is there even a way for me to get through from the bottom? Looks like it might. Or maybe not. Well, it's always interesting finding games that just add stuff that you need to discover on your own. Um, yeah, but I can make that if I pay more attention to my surroundings at the bottom. This is gonna be good. I landed on it. So this is a bit more of a more difficult platformer. Ooh. I actually saw the lightning smite me down on that one. Probably because I hit a block from the bottom. Yeah, this does look like a pressure chest. So just jump. Good. Whoops, that was quick. Well, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go through these. If things become increasingly difficult, you probably don't want to see me die over and over and over again. That's not fun for anyone. But I can already tell this is gonna be an interesting platform if you're really looking for a challenge. Problem is, time isn't our friend either. But I made it. Grr. So the pawn chooses to play this game of death with its maker. Have fun with this new rule then. Thou shalt not walk left. And how the hell am I? Oh wait, he said walk, right? I wonder. So we can't walk left, but we can jump left. Ha! Ah, I thwarted your plans. Well, I think this is a proper spot to end it. I'll probably play some of this, more of this off camera. If you want to try it out for yourself, links will be in the video description as always. But for now, this is where I'm going to cut it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. This has been the Tower of Heaven. I'll see you guys on the next Indie Game Spotlight. Bye, everyone.